The path that country music singers typically take is one that is well-trodden. They begin their careers by working in clubs for a few years, then relocate to Nashville, where they play sessions for years, and finally, they get their big break. However, Dwight Yoakam did not play it that way, and the music industry would never forgive him for his behavior. As you can see, Dwight's early experiences taught him that Nashville was a con city. It was initially believed that he had come there from his home state of Ohio in order to secure a record deal, but this turned out to be a lie. He decided to go to Los Angeles instead, a city where punk music and country music were more likely to coexist than boardroom executives. Rather than engaging in the production of pop ballads, Dwight released record after record of genuine gritty honky-tonk compositions. To begin, guitars, Cadillacs, and other models. And last but not least, there was Buenas Noches from a Lonely Room, which successfully sealed the deal. Dwight constantly made it a point to attack Nashville from a distance during the entire process. When Columbia Records decided to release Johnny Cash, he was very critical of the company. In addition, he criticized MTV for saying that it would not air videos of country music. She advised him that he needed to cease using the phrase hillbilly after he signed a record deal with Warner Music Nashville. 